This, this is the YouTube yacht, and it's kind of insane. It's a boat themed and shaped rental cabin that we're building here in Southern Indiana. You can see we've got a concrete floor deck with ICF basement and a two by four framing up top. What we're gonna work on in today's video is framing that next level. Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. We are finally back on the YouTube yacht. We took off the winter because I didn't really want to do any work in the winter time. This project is a fully YouTube revenue funded project, which means we have to work at the speed that our revenue is generated on the channel. But if you're new to the channel or you just haven't been here for a while, here's where we're at. ICF basement, that is a concrete floor deck or ceiling above us. It's an ICF span. Obviously we're up here in the bow. These are gonna get circular porthole style windows. And then you can see the plumbing, that back section, that's gonna be a bathroom and there's gonna be a spiral staircase that goes to the top section. All this dirt here will get excavated out so that there's a nice slope down to it. So it's really showing off its pretty cool looking profile and we'll do a pier style dock that comes back over here to the parking area. So there's where we just came from, spiral staircase on up to the next level. You can see where the windows are. We've got them sheeted over just to keep the weather out until we actually are ready for windows. This is just gonna be kind of a seating gathering area. And this over here is gonna be a little mini kitchen. Sinks and area, you see there's the plumbing sleeve for the sinks and stuff to go through. Under cabinet fridge, nothing crazy, and a little bit of bar top where you can sit here and look out the window and enjoy the view. The number one question we always get is why? We live in a town where there's already dozens of rental cabins, but those are all down on the river, overlooking the river. We don't own river property, so we thought to be competitive, we should design a themed rental of a boat. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I know we're building it. I gotta get some tools and some lumber rounded up. It has been a little bit since we've worked on it, so everything's scattered all over the place. But the first step will be getting that thing uncovered and getting everything staged and ready. Here's a random thing. I've been trying to find an easier way to shove the generator around the property. Sands having to get the tractor fired up and use the forks every time. And the little wheels just don't do good on the all-terrain. Well, I got this old pedal cart the kids don't use anymore. Uh, threw it on there to see how she pushed. She went over everything. Maybe something to that. Still gotta get it off of here though because it's not the most secure. We don't need the ladder. Feels good to be back up here, I'll tell you that. Floor looks good too. I think we're all right. And I do have a railing around the stair opening, but I still probably ought to pay attention. It's been a while since y'all been up here. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? So there's just one spot here in the middle looks like it got a little weather, but everything else looks really nice and well protected. If you're thinking to yourself, I've been following this guy for a while and I don't remember a video on finishing the subfloor and putting this railing and stuff up. That's because it never came out. I lost all the footage. We also have all the walls anchored and epoxied in place and everything taped and nailed off the way it's supposed to be. So, jumping forward a little bit from the last progress. I'm guessing you're all right with it though. These can come up. 
Let's toss them for now. I always see telehandlers for sale on Facebook Marketplace. And although the next thing I want to get for the property is a trailer or a dozer with a six-way blade or something like that, I see those telehandlers. And when it comes to stuff like this, the amount of time it could have saved. Maybe one day a fella can get one of those random parked telehandlers. One nice thing about framing up here versus what we had to do down below. Down below we had to measure each stud to make sure the top plate was nice and level and then the bottom could follow the contour of the concrete. But up here, since everything's nice and level with the subfloor, we just got pre-cut studs for up here. Should go a little bit quicker. You gotta make sure I'm not measuring the subfloor, but I'm measuring the actual floor joist of the wall below. Otherwise, you can step in just a little bit. Also, here's your disclaimer. I did build homes for about five years, but I am far from a professional and a lot has changed since I built homes. So if you are building something, make sure you're following the code and make sure you check your area because code can change from place to place. Don't take anything I'm saying as advice. I would not recommend that. Pulled from the right side on the bottom, so we're gonna pull from the right side up top, that way I can stack my studs. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a row of sheeting across the bottom, rocking beautiful two and a half inch ring shank coated sheeting nails. They're 8D. And then of course we're gluing everything as well. And we'll use this magic contraption that a fellow by the name of Bernie Bauer taught me how to build. It's pretty handy. Unless of course you stack all your lumber in the way. And then it's not handy at all. Let's not walk off the edge. Because of the way I held that sheeting down below so I don't have to mess with straps up top because my sheeting will run down into that, I need to measure that and then chalk a line up on this wall so I get it right. I also need to make sure I got all this stuff out of the way too. I don't really have much of a plan for this step. Should probably have a little bit more of a plan than what I do. We should probably try to get her lined up pretty close where she needs to be first. Got a block here to kick it to. Let's get the nail gun up close. Maybe we're not reaching for it. Up a little, up a little, up a little, up a little. There it is, there it is. Looking pretty good. Even a low brace is better than no brace. That's what I sometimes say. Normally you'd put another block there, but sometimes I forget to grab things. Yep, she looks good from down there. Get her locked down. No window on this wall. I know a lot of people are surprised we're not putting a window on this wall since it's right over the paddle wheel, but our house is this way. Now we've designed this where all the windows are looking the opposite direction. That way people can't come up and, well, what are they doing over there? You know what I mean? Forced perspective. I think that's what it's called. Well, let's go ahead and run this wall here. Might as well, we're gonna frame to here on the bottom plate. 
And then we'll frame the next section over here since we can't lay the whole wall out because of the stair opening. I just want to go ahead and get all the headers made real quick. That way they're knocked out, they're ready to go, they're ready to install. Windows are the same size up top as they are down below. All right, so we got to build some headers. Now the way I do these headers, I'm just using two by tens and to get the proper thickness, we're throwing some seven sixteenths in between them. That gives us the three and a half inches, the same width as the two by four wall. Ripping it down just real professional like, nothing too fancy there. Move this stuff out of the way. This lumber came stacked the way you would normally do it, which is the OSB on bottom, the studs on top, because you're gonna use the studs first, but we're kind of doing things backwards. So we gotta do quite a bit of rearranging to make everything work, but it's not too big of a deal. Look at that. That's that's some fancy cutting. Some fancy footwork there. A little bit of texting. You know, we got stuff to do. Glue lamin everything together using that spray foam construction adhesive. And then just running an inappropriate amount of nails through there. That's just the best way to do it, honestly. A little bit of axe. Is that an axe? Yeah, we used an axe a little bit. And then uh, we pack those up the ladder, throw them on top, get them staged, get them ready to go. Nothing too crazy to this part. So up top, we're gonna to have the same windows as we do down below, the exception being that window there. There's gonna be a bathroom straight up above us here. So no window there, but the rest of these will be identical. So what I'm gonna to do to make sure they match up, the easiest thing that I can think of is I'm just gonna cut a bottom plate and literally just transfer the stud marks over. Then we're perfectly stacked. The windows will be perfectly lined up and we should be good to go. The only trick here just because of the space we've got to work up there, what I'm going to do is basically build one section like to this stud, stand that up, then we'll build the next window section, stand that up, and move our way on down. The fact they didn't send all the sheeting I need is fixing to catch up with me here in a little bit. So it's about two o'clock in the afternoon the following day. I was working on the dump truck project this morning, ran out of parts. So I figured let's come out here and get some more work done. A little awkward for filming and definitely awkward for production, but it's the only way I know to keep the projects moving. By the way, officially shorts weather. I'm gonna introduce these bad boys to the sun for the first time in eight months. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this section next. Now I got a little overzealous on this window when I put this in on the bottom wall. You see where the stair opening is? There's supposed to be a chase, spiral staircase, a chase that gets framed in that allows plumbing, electrical, that kind of thing between floors, uh, which means this shouldn't be here. I wasn't paying attention to that. So this window will actually get blocked in solid, which means we just don't have it at all upstairs. There's a bathroom where this is upstairs, so no window there, but this will be stacked the same. Is overzealous the right phrase for that? Yeah, I'm not that good at math. I don't know. Like I said, this isn't a how-to. If you're going to do your own framing or you want to learn, I'd suggest getting a few books. Larry Hahn is, uh, has a fantastic book out and a lot of YouTube videos. Or just go work part-time somewhere if you got the time for a construction company and learn a little bit yourself. But this is the way I do it. Works best for me. I like to scatter everything out once I get everything pre-cut. I try to gain cut everything as much as I can. That way I don't spend as much time at the cut station. I nail my header onto my kings first before I nail my full studs and top plate on. That way I got good access to getting a lot of nails in the side of that header. Then I'll do my top plate, then I'll finish off with my full studs. And because we're going to be laying the sheeting on and putting sheeting on the bottom half of this, uh, we do have to get it squared up 
really well up on the ground because once you get it up in the air there's really no adjustment you know normally you frame a wall there's no sheeting you can kind of skew it one way or the other depending on what you need to do but since we're putting sheeting on it's got to be square laying down here before we put that sheeting on so we're going to get this all marked double check my cross measurements there making sure we're looking good it's going to take a couple adjustments but nothing too crazy and then i love to use construction adhesive before i sheet it doesn't cost that much, but man, does it add a ton of strength. Get that all nailed down, looking good, and we'll see if we can't get her stood up. Spoiler alert, the battery died. We got her stood up. Get her pinned into place, matched up with the other wall. Keep on keeping on. So I got all the studs stacked up here, ready to go which is nice. And I got all that lumber set up the way it needs to be. I honestly didn't expect to get hardly any framing done over the past few days. I thought it was just gonna be some half days of getting everything mobilized, set up and ready, which is where we are now, but we've actually got a little bit of framing done. This station is set up so I can move the cut station upstairs. So the rest of this should go fairly quick. Maybe I should say relatively quick. So here's the way the rest of this is gonna look. There is a deck or a walkway. They'll start on this end It'll match basically what I'm on now and follow it all the way across here. There will be a door just like this stacked on top of it. I don't know if you've ever tried to get a mattress up a spiral staircase, but a, a little gate right here in a door is going to be key for furniture upstairs. And also, it's just going to be a really cool little feature where you can go and walk on this deck, a little catwalk, if you will, all the way around the vessel. Of course, that exception being all the way on the stern over the paddle wheel. Again, forced perspective away from us over there. The floor plan, the floor plan for upstairs, of course, spiral staircase, walkway here that we talked about. Five foot over, this will be a bath. Uh, tub, shower, combo, toilet, vanity, super simple. And then just a little seating room here. You can either see who just pulled up to your little Airbnb. Or you can take a gander out here. And yes, this tree staying. This will be the bedroom, if you will. Same as downstairs, window, 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 with a bed in here. And it'll be wheelhouse themed. So the headboard will hopefully, the way I envision it, be part of a big wheel like you would. Um, your full steam ahead things there. Telegraphs, I believe they're called. We'll make this bedroom up here wheelhouse themed. So that's the concept. As far as the time frame for the rest of the build or what we're going to be working on for this month, we try to do updates every month on what the next month is going to look like. This is the big thing. We're going to stay on this for probably two or three months. We'll be back at the headquarters sometime in fall with a little bit of dump truck content sprinkled in as we get work done on that. The next two videos while we wait for the rest of the lumber order to come in, which will be the deck, the rest of the sheeting that's supposed to be here now, and the roof sheeting as well. We're gonna work on this section down here. We initially planned or discussed possibly putting a pond down here. But as you can tell, but as we discovered when we dug some test holes, the soil just, well, this isn't the best for sealing up a pond dam. And the other thing that several people mentioned, which is a fantastic point, and it's something that the Admiral and I have actually made rental decisions on ourselves. If we put a pond here and we're targeting families, that can be a turnoff for families with little children they don't want their kids that close to a water feature for obvious reasons. So you know what? That's an excellent point. There's no reason to put one here. But everywhere that we started clearing for the test holes and things like that, I want to go ahead and finish that clearing process, get everything pushed together downhill for the brush pile. I also need to pick up my sap taps. We're done with that this time of year. And get that dug out and all of that dirt moved down around here so we have a decent level seating area on the outside. And then that way, while we're waiting for materials to come in, we can go ahead and get the rough grade done. The goal is to get all the framing and the deck and the roof metal on by the end of April. That's what we're looking like. We're pretty decent at sticking to schedules. Every now and then we might be off by a week or two, but that's the goal. Now you guys know, we'd hope to be back on it mid-March. It is the end of March, but still pretty close to the schedule. Not too bad. If you came here originally for the YouTube Yacht content, appreciate you being patient with me. Probably a shorter video than normal, but this is what we're working with this week. So this is what you get. I hope you guys like it. I'm loving it. It's wild. It's just, 
It's insane. And I'm here for it. And I'm glad you guys are too. I hope I see you on the next one.